hello everyone there is another video for you as you can see here this is all-in-one PC from HP and the model number is 24-Z for Golf 099NA so what are you gonna do today we are going to upgrade to SSD we're gonna replace the hard drive with the SSD the reason is this sort of all-in-one PC always very slow i don't know what's the reason that i believe if you change it to the ssd then it's going to be much more faster than that okay so today i'm going to show you how to open it up and replace the ssd at the same time you'd know if you want to replace something else in there the procedure would be almost same so let's start and before we start i'm going to show you a couple of tools you need first of all the phillips screwdriver it don't has to be like automatic like this okay and uh, tweezers might be needed and definitely this flat tool that's going to help us okay so let's start all right so we're going to get access to this machine from the bottom okay Phillips uh, screws okay we must need to take this out so first is first yeah very good see you later one came out leave it on the side and the next thing is this machine comes out from the front okay we're gonna pull out the screen panel to get access to the main motherboard and all other components but this bezel controlled from one screw I mean locked from one screw which is right here as you can see the silver one okay so we need a little bit longer screwdriver to get into it I got this one, unscrew it, yeah. if it doesn't come no problem, we got the screwdriver, leave it on the side, now, the halfway we done it, the second job, to take this out, okay, so what are you going to do, we're going to use this flat tool, and we'll put it in between, the front and the back and we're going to sponger it like that it's going to make a little noise it's going to be a little bit hard okay i'm going to start from the top like this you can bring it on the side like two third already came out now the bottom which is most important right here okay this one comes with the black panel if you can focus inside there is little bit blackish plastic things this is the one should come out yeah good Now put it on the flat, lift it up slowly and gently. If it doesn't come out, that's mean something stuck somewhere. So spudger it again, should be fine. Let's check it out. lift it up gently and check what is the flex come from okay so the actual flex is on the bottom so lift up the bottom part I mean that way 
in that way because if you pull from this side you're going to rip it off so now you can do two things either you can disconnect it from here which is much more difficult or you can disconnect it from here or what you can do you can leave it like that you don't need to disconnect anything as you can see here simple you can put it side by side now this is the actual hard drive which one we are going to replace it okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to disconnect this first set a cable all right so let's talk something more about this motherboard because in my other videos um when i do hard drive replacement um many viewers they go different different question like if this is compatible for m2 ssd or if i can add any um you know pci graphics card all these things so as i can see this motherboard doesn't have any option to put any m2 sata ssd okay we've got just a standard sata uh, port here you can connect either uh, this 2.5 inch ordinary kingston or samsung any other whatever you like the brand is you can put it on or you can add ordinary 2.5 inch set of hard right okay and there are two slots from the ram stick you know you can put the ram stick two of them at the same time because two slots are available some of them all in one pc doesn't have two only one okay so this is a great option to upgrade or to load some more memory due to make it faster and also it does have one another uh dvd disk drive okay if you want you can attach two ssd instead of one example you can leave the only one here or if you take this out you can put your because of this is set up you can add another one okay so that's a great option too because nowadays nobody needs this sort of um, dvd drive nobody does care okay that's the great opportunity and another thing the cooling fan okay the cooling fan is very poor as you can see here this is so small okay super small okay normally the lenable they put really huge size of propel so this one blows more you know cooling air cooling but this one doesn't okay and as you can see there is not that much uh, brass seal okay or any brass to cool it down okay this is just the plastic okay so now let's get to the point now i'm going to show you how to replace that this 3.5 inch ordinary hard drive got one screw here we're going to take out this screw because this is uh, secured with only one screw i believe so take this out and then if you look at the pattern here it says if you push it that way it's going to be unlocked it's going to be lock and unlock this is quite funny i don't know why okay let's check it out all right so if you look at the pattern there are two patterns it shows arrow if you go this way lock this way no lock okay that's fine so you're going to pull this out off that way and lift it up yeah so that's the actual 3.5 inch you know very heavy SATA hard drive now so here you can see 240 GB Kingston SATA SSD and the ordinary 3.5 inch SATA hard drive we're going to replace it but as you can see 3.5 inch and 2.5 inch are quite different in the dimension okay so that's a kind of problem might be you are worried because there is no caddy 2.5 inch now we need to apply some DIY ideas here so let's open it up first fine so now we're not going to throw this first put it back okay. one second we can put it like that okay that's the way so now i'm going to apply some tape in here either gaffer tape or something just to hold it you know because this is less than 200 gram okay 
let's take some tape fine as you can see that's the one now close it like that hopefully that would go in yeah it's closed properly Here. See, simple and easy. Okay. Close it. Now almost everything is done. So what are you gonna do? We're gonna uh, close it back. So now we're gonna close it back. First. Okay. So now we're going to close it back with this screw, which just goes inside here. Okay. It's fine. And this is the things it goes in here. Let's check. Okay. okay. So that's how you replace your uh, hard drive with the SSD. Still, if you do have any question regarding this model, feel free to leave in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.